Let it go into the record that the witness refused to answer the question. The question is a very specific one. Should minors be making these momentous decisions? For most of the history of medicine, we wouldn't let you have a cut sewn up in the ER. But you're willing to let a minor take things that prevent their puberty, and you think they get that back? You give a woman testosterone enough that she grows a beard, do you think she's going to go back looking like a woman when you stop the testosterone? You have permanently changed them. Infertility is another problem. None of these drugs have been approved for this. They're all being used off-label. I find it ironic that the left that went nuts over hydroxychloroquine being used possibly for COVID are not alarmed that these hormones are being used off-label. There's no long-term studies. We don't know what happens to them. We do know that there are... Dozens and dozens of people have been through this who, who regret that this happened and a permanent change happened to them. And, you know, if you've ever been around children, 14-year-olds can't make this decision. In the gender dysphoria clinic in England, 10% of the kids are between the ages of 3 and 10. We should be outraged that someone's talking to a 3-year-old about changing their sex. I can't.